Good morning, students. So yesterday's class we discussed about the transporting plant. So how the water enters into the cell? So when we discuss how the root pressure helps the water to move in upward direction. So what is the root pressure? The pressure exerted by the roots to transport the water to the uppermost level is called as the root pressure. For this, we have a little experience. In this lab activity. Just you take a healthy potted plant and just you cut above the ground level. Take a potted plant and cut above the ground level and fix the, this stem to a glass tube. This is called as the glass tube and join both of these by a strong rubber tube. And your care should be taken for the width of the glass tube should be matched to the width of the stem. Then add little bit water in the glass tube. See, little bit have to come little bit upper than the uh, this rubber tube. Okay? Then then just note the level. It may, it may be and but note the level of the water so it will be and and pour the water in the And leave for one, one hour to two hours. So after one hour to two hours, and you observe after that, you see gradually the water level in that glass tube is goes up increasing. So how this is increasing? Increase at first because of the root pressure. So roots which are present, they absorb the water and slowly the water level increases. It will be and two. So M2 minus M1 gives us how much water will be absorbed by the roots in a particular time in one hour. How much we will take the time period? In that, how much water will be absorbed by the roots? We can observe it. This is called as the root pressure. Say, so what we have to take? Take a healthy potted plant and just to cut the plant above the ground level and fix the Plant which stem to a the glass tube. So your care should be taken. The width of the glass tube should be matching to the width of the stem. Then join both of them with the help of a rubber tube. So it will be very a strong rubber tube. Otherwise, what will happen? The water may escape. So you will not perform the experiment properly. Then pour a little bit of water. So that means you have to see the Water level above the rubber cubing. Above the rubber cubing, then just rename it will be amber. Just note the note of the real. Then keep water the potted plant and leave for one to two hours. Afterwards, again you observe. So when you observe what will happen, slowly the water level goes on increasing. Then just note down that reading also. It will be better than M2. So, M2 minus M1 gives us the increasing in the water level in one period or one hour of time interval. So, you can visit about the root pressure. So, this root pressure will be helpful for the person up to certain height of the plant. So, what about the, the plant which are very tall, like sandalwood, uh, rose plant, which is uh, sandalwood, very, very big. Plant with very tall plant, put the water in the shop to the tips of the leaves. So, here along with the root pressure, and the process also helped out. So, what is the process? The what is the process that helps the plants to the helps the plants to reach the to get the water? So, that is called as transpiration. That is called as transpiration. What is this transpiration? So transpiration is the process through which the water from the plants will be removed in the form of water vapor. So it is the process through which water from the plants will be comes out in the form of water vapor. It's called as transpiration. So what is process transpiration? As well as wood pressure helps for the transportation of water and minerals from the Root level to the shoot level. So now we will discuss about this transpiration. For this, just to take a healthy potted plant, to take a 
healthy coordinate plan. Magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate. So these minerals, when they dissolve 
ions of water, they will divide into sodium divides into sodium plus and sodium minus. And like magnesium positive ions and the negative ions and they will be enters into the cells. Enter from the soil they will enter into the cell. The process called as osmosis and diffusion. Both of them will occur in the plants and from there they slowly they will move they grow up, grow in regions. Wherever they need is there, wherever the source need is there, they move the particular places and the growth and development will be takes place. So in the next class we will discuss about the regarding the how the food will be conducted by the